Hello to you on a cracking night here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester United versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The lineup for Manchester United. Davy De Gea stands between the posts. Harry Maguire plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Fred starts alongside Scott McTominay in midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Lewis Dunk plays alongside Shane Duffy in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And so the battle commences. Good tackle. Trossard. Crossing possibilities. Well, not cleared away completely. And problem solved for now. Bruno Fernandes. Lindelof. Diogo Dallo on the ball. It's with Alex Tellez. Maguire. Scott McTominay. Keeping it moving dynamically. Cristiano Ronaldo. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Alex Tellez. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Playing it in. The clearance wasn't decisive. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Van der Beek. Firing it towards goal. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Let's see about the delivery. Well, he'll be a bit deflated following that effort, but he was being tightly marked. They might be able to get in now. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Pascal Gross. Mopé. 
And he read it well defensively. Well, as you can see, United have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes and created a hat. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Neil Mopé. Here's Gross. Oh, big opportunity. Excellent block. Jaden Sancho. Diogo Dallo. Oh, he's really up on the up here. Could it be? Off the post and back in play. He's blocked it. Well, here we are on the cusp of the half-time interval. It's Manchester United holding the edge. Stuart, your assessment of what you've seen from them? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Jadon Sancho. Alex Tellez has it. Bruno Fernandes. Takes the shot. No way through. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So 2-0 now. Number 34, Dudley Van der Beek. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. United regaining possession. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And Ronaldo just needs to remain level-headed. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defenders just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So on with the game again. United in charge. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. He continues his run. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals. What a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. So the ball rolling again, and United very much in charge of this one. So let's see how the second half pans out. Number 10, Alexis McAllister. Diogo Dallo. Here's Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Alex Tellez has it. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. And a no-nonsense clearance. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Alexis McAllister. Now in possession, Trossard. 
Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. It's with Alex Tenez. Here's Ronaldo. Scott McTominay. Diogo Dallo. Crossing possibilities. Every pass. Oh, narrowly wide. So unlucky. So making the substitution now. Dunk. It's a neat move. Chance to finish. And able to close down the shot. Bruno Fernandes. And he takes on the shot. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. To your place by number 14, Jesse Lingard. Corner kick played in. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Lingard. He'll have a go here. But the keeper takes charge, and it was pretty straightforward. Lingard. Diogo Dallo. Can he finish? Well, able to close down the short and running through to the keeper. Twenty minutes remaining. And fed forwards. Gross. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Possession lost, intercepted. Jaden Sancho. And he's broken free. And just offside, but by a whisker, my goodness. Coming off the pitch, number 25, Jaden Sancho. To be replaced by number 10, Marcus Rashford. Ten minutes to go, then. He's given us away. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Pascal Gross. Dunk. No nonsense clearance. And breaking at pace with Menace. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Joel Feldman. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Fred. 
Cristiano Ronaldo. And there it is, the full-time whistle. A victory for Manchester United. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.